Windsor. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Uh, today's vlog is a day to night makeup routine. I honestly have really missed glamming up, although it's very nice. I love not wearing makeup and honestly throughout the week and I really don't wear makeup, but I have missed kind of getting glammed up. I always feel a lot fresher, a lot better throughout the day or even like if I have a date night or I'm meeting up with a friend. It's nice to feel a little extra va va boom. So I thought it'd be nice to share a day to night makeup routine for you guys because a lot of the times I'm putting on something super fresh, easy, quick for the morning to wear throughout the day. And then at night, I don't want to like wash it all off and then start from scratch. I like to just kind of build on that. So that's what we're going to do today. Disclaimer, I honestly debated starting this vlog after my foundation was done because my skin has been so bad lately. And then I was like, you know what? Now I'm gonna keep it real for you guys because yeah, I always like to keep it real. Honestly, I usually have good skin, but lately it's not been good. If you follow me, you will know that. But I figured it would be great for you guys to kind of follow along, see how I am dealing with covering up any sort of spots on my face and enhancing any of my natural features that I wanna be that I want to enhance. So yeah, today I'm using all Hourglass products. They are amazing, super creamy, smooth. I'll just get into all that good stuff with you guys. So let's hop right in. So to start, I've got a uh, moisturizer on my face. That's always my start. And I'm gonna do something a little different because I am gonna be doing foundation. Um, and as you see, I have spots. So I'm gonna start with, I have moisturized. I'm gonna start with primer. I always like to start with a primer. I'm using the Veil Mineral Primer oil-free so it won't make you break out more than you already have. Not to worry. Make sure none of that makeup sinks into your pores. And it really just like smooths fine lines and wrinkles. But bring it down to my neck and my eyes. Yeah, so just a nice base. So then next step, which you might find weird, I'm actually gonna powder. I have been very oily and summer, well it's not summer, it's, a, it's, it's always summer in Miami. It's actually winter, but it's, it's very hot in Miami, so very oily. So I'm gonna use the Veil Translucent Setting Powder and I'm actually gonna powder my whole face. Um, I don't know why I learned this from someone and I felt like my foundation went on really well after I did this first. So, may seem weird, but, so I'm gonna powder my whole face, and then I am going to use the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. You can use any setting spray. And you're gonna kinda set it. And this kinda like sets the base for your makeup. Woo! Now that the holidays are right around the corner, I, I'm so excited to use that as an excuse to get glammed up, because I'm always willing and looking for an excuse to do that. Okay, so my skin is prepped and ready to go. You always wanna make sure your skin is super hydrated, even when you are suffering from maybe acne. Sometimes you think you need to dry it out, which you do, but make sure your skin is prepped and moisturized. Next step, I'm gonna go on to concealer and foundation. So I'm going to use two different colors for my foundation because I like, well, one, my skin tone is different, but I like to go darker on the edges, lighter inside. I'm gonna start with the Golden Natural Hourglass Foundation Stick. And I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges of my face. Then I've got my nude, and I'm gonna go in kind of like right here where I feel like I need a little extra coverage, especially over any spots you might have. And I look crazy. So wait, I'm gonna also do my concealer. I'm using, this is Fawn. Concealer is the color hourglass. And I'm gonna just go under my eyes a little bit. And okay, I'm gonna blend this out. I'm using a beauty blender. You could use your fingers, you can use a brush. Whatever you find works best for you. So I'm gonna start with my under eyes. I do usually use liquid foundation, but lately I found since I have some spots that I need to get more coverage on, the stick foundation has been covering way better for me. So that's just what I have found to be working. I'm gonna use the excess to like block my eyes to get a good base there. 
Okay, perfect. So any spot that I feel like I need a little extra coverage, I will go back in and I will do kind of the same process. And I just kind of get where I feel like I need more coverage. Take the lighter foundation stick, and go over little spots and then just blend it out again. Okay, so now my foundation and concealer is done. It's all blended. I feel like I have some pretty good coverage on all my areas that I want to cover. Next up, I'm going to use the Ambient Lighting Sculpture Palette. And we've got all of these different colors. Some of them are even exclusive to this palette. So I'm going to go in here with the Finishing Powder and Diffuse Light. And I'm just going to go under my eyes and anything that I really want to brighten up. And this kind of like helps set it and kind of mattify your face and smooth everything out. And then I'm gonna go in here, number one, finishing powder and dim light. And I'm gonna literally just put this all over my face and kind of set everything out. It also gives you like a nice glow, but really that like photo finish you're looking for. Then I'm gonna go in here with the bronzer and I'm gonna basically just Go in and go under my cheekbone. And I'm gonna give myself a nice bronze under my chin and under those cheekbones and just like circular motions. And I always like to think of a three when I'm putting on or E when I'm putting on bronzer. I like to go here and a three motion. Bronzer should go all over your face. I'm gonna go right here and to my hairline. Make sure it's even on either side. This is a day look, so you don't want to go too heavy. Don't forget about your neck. It always bothers me when girls have a super tan face and their neck is super pale. So you want to make sure that it's even. Then I'm going to use this strobe blush here. Just like a nice rosy pink. Kind of on the apples of my cheeks, but a little bit higher up. I recently learned that I much prefer my blush a bit higher up on my cheeks and lower. I feel like it makes you look older and we bring it to low. Natural blush. Okay. To finish my skin off, I am going to use the, the strobe powder, which is this one right here. See, I was gonna get a clean brush, but just like wipe it off here and go in with the strobe powder right onto your cheeks. And it just gives you that nice highlighter. I like to do a little bit of my nose, lips. Do that nice highlight that everybody wants. Okay, perfect. So, skin is finished. Now I'm gonna go into my brows. So, I'm gonna go in with the Micro Sculpting Brow Pencil by Hourglass. It's got this super thin, precise tip. And I'm gonna just kind of fill in my brows. Okay, make sure they're even. Then I'm gonna use the Hourglass Volumizing Fiber Gel. This is color, oh, Soft Brunette. Brush up my brows. I don't look good with crazy brush up brows. I just kind of like, like to set them in place. The brow gel. There. Now onto my eyes. So I'm going to use, actually what I, a little secret is that I do love to use a bronzer and a palette. It's like an easy, natural eyeshadow without doing like full eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go with the bronzer. This is brush number six. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just get the creases of my eyes with that bronzer just to add a little definition for the day. Then I'm gonna take this goldeny strobe light and then go right into the corners and right under my brows. Then I'm gonna take Number, which number is this? 13. And I'm gonna take the same bronzing color. And I'm gonna go in under my eye. And also go in the corners of my eyes. Now I'm gonna use an angled brush and I'm gonna use the, this is Graphic Ravine Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm gonna just use a dark brown because I want to do like a natural looking liner for the day. Get the corner of my lid or eyes. There we go, so a little more definition on my eyes. Okay, so for my skin, I'm gonna just make sure that there's nothing else I wanna cover. 
I might just kind of go over these little bumps just to dive it a little bit again because they're extra covered. Go in with my hourglass veil, translucent cutting powder, and just set my whole face, my skin, everything, so that it's just not moving. <laughs> Okay, final step for mascara, I'm gonna use the Unlocked Mascara. Now any Hourglass Unlocked product, they donate 5% to the Non-Human Rights Project, which is amazing. And I'm gonna just do a few swipes of mascara for like a natural day look. Perfect. Final look. Part of my look for my daytime look is lips. I'm gonna use a little bit of a lip liner. I love lip liner. This is panoramic. So I'm gonna go in with some lip liner. I always start with lip uh, balm when I start my makeup. So super close to my natural shade. I have naturally really pink lips. So it doesn't look too fake. And then I'm gonna use the Hourglass Lipstick Duo, which I'll show you what's so amazing about this. You can unclick and re-click in whatever color you want. I'm using At Dawn. And it's super small, so you can get really precise. Okay, so that is my day look. I'm just gonna push my hair down and I'm ready for the day. Super light, natural, I feel covered. I don't feel like my skin looks crazy. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys back here in a few hours when I show you how to take this look to nighttime. Hello. Welcome back. I just parted my hair on the side because I'm getting ready for this evening. It is Johnny's cousin's birthday. We're doing like a little game night at his family's house. So I'm just going to wear this little, it's like a loungy set, but it's a really cute. It's my Rice Vanessa. Um, so now I'm gonna transfer my makeup from day to night. So what I wanna do first is anything that I wanna touch up my skin. It's like, I wanna add a little concealer. I wanna add a little bit more coverage or my pimples. Now's the time to do that. So a little bit here. I also can take off my lipstick from today because um, I'm going to be doing a different lip. Fresh start. And it is hot in here. Okay, so let's get started. I've got that coverage. I'm going to add a little bit more on my zits. I'm just going to take the beauty blender. Add that little extra coverage. Since it kind of, you know, throughout the day, you get oily. There, perfect. And then we can blend in that extra concealer. Now for my night look, we're gonna be taking the eyes a little bit darker and a little bit more kind of definition in my skin. So we'll start with the skin. I've got the Hourglass Holiday Ambient Palette here, and we've got some special shades, extra bronzer, some beautiful blush, and then of course highlighter. So I'm gonna go in with that. I've got the brush here, and I'm gonna start by doing the finishing powder. <laughs> I'm gonna start by doing the finishing powder here under my eyes, just so I'm super bright there. Then I'm gonna go in with the bronze light bronzer, and I'm really gonna bronze up my cheeks and my hairline as well. Chin. Anytime you bronze your face, you wanna bring it down to the neck. And I'm using circular buffing motions just to really make it smooth and seamless all together. And just kind of look, make sure it looks okay. And I'm gonna even take smaller, this is number 14 brush, and I'm gonna take the bronzer, and I'm just gonna do a little bit on my nose, contour my nose. Now I'm gonna take the Mood Flush Blush, which is a beautiful 
like rosy deep blush color. Super different from the other one that I was using. Blend it there. You can always add more. You don't want to like overdo it. Start with. If you feel like you've done too much, you can like take a clean brush or your BB blender and kind of go over it. So you just really bring out those cheeks. Then I'm gonna just finish up my skin by finishing with the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Again, I'm in Miami, so I'm actually quite oily rather than dry. I feel like most of the really warm or cold months usually would be dry, but not me. Just finish with that powder, so it's super seamless and mattifying. And then I can go in with some highlighter. So this palette is basically the best for traveling, especially because you get all four of these in one thing. So you can use the the metallic strobe powder and champagne. And you're gonna just go in right on your cheeks and anywhere you want extra glow. Okay, perfect. Now for my eyes. I'm gonna do much more to my eyes. So I have, this is the same palette that I was using, the Graphic Ravine Eyeshadow Palette. Now I'm gonna use brush number nine. Yes, brush number nine, and I'm gonna go in. So I like just kind of work from lighter to darker. I'm gonna go in here with the lighter. I don't have much eyeshadow going on right now, which is perfect because you can really build on it. I don't got like any crazy color, I don't have any really crazy colors. And I'm gonna start kind of at the inner corners with the lightest shade. And then I'm gonna blend it out. This palette's like reverse, so I'm gonna then go into this other light shade here. And then I'm gonna do like the middles of my lids. Okay. And then I'm gonna go start here with this brown. And I'm gonna just really work the crease, cleaning it out a little bit. A little bit out of my crease. I want to elongate my eyes. Then I'm going to go in the darker one, but you're going to tap it really light and kind of blow it out because you don't want to just go bam and end up too dark. You can always build. Same with the blush. Start lighter. You can always build. Okay. Make sure it's looking even. All right. Now I'm gonna take number 13, the little guy, and we're gonna go in here with this two browns. I'm gonna start with the darker one, and I'm gonna kind of work from the outside in. And I like to simultaneously do both eyes. I don't like to do one completely. That way I know and remember exactly what I'm doing. So you do one eye, and then I go and do the other eye. Go in with a little bit of a lighter brown, make it lighter towards my corners of my eyes. And then I'm gonna go here, this bright one right here, just really to brighten up the eyes. Okay, so my shadow's done, and now I'm going to do some scattered light. This is called Smoke. Now their scattered light is perfect for the holidays because it's super shiny. Bit difficult to do with nails, but basically you're gonna just put your finger in it and in the centers here of your eye, kind of like right on your lid, just press in and you'll see the difference. It's like this nice super sparkle, which I just love for night and I love for the holidays. So we're like sparkly and ready. And the last step for my eye, my eyes, I'm going to do a liner. So I'm gonna use the Mechanical Gel Liner in black. And I always kind of struggle with liner. So I'm gonna just do like a little bit of a flick right along my lashes. really just kind of brings your eyes, opening them up, making them look a lot bigger. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a little bit in the corners, 
just kind of like add some drama to your eyes. This is like the smoothest pencil and just goes in so seamlessly. Okay. Now for my mascara, because this is night, I'm gonna use the Caution Ultra Black Mascara, which just adds a lot more drama to your look. And I already do have mascara on, so you really wanna be careful when you put a mascara on twice because it can get very, very clumpy after like mascara is already dry. So if you don't need to reapply mascara, I wouldn't, but this is an evening look. Much more drama on the lashes. Kind of crazy for daylight, daylight for daytime. So now I'm gonna do my lips. And I was telling you guys how cool this duo lipstick is because you kind of unclick it. Oops. Unclick one. And then you got your other one and you click that in and you can use it. So this is at dusk and it's like the perfect holiday red. It's not even red, it's like more crimson-y. And with this precision tip, you really can get in there. Lips are done. I just kind of like to take a step back and look. I didn't want to go too heavy on the eyes, especially when you have a lip. Um, I might even just blot this out a little bit. Let me grab a... I feel like it can help stay. Just give it like one good kiss. And it's like... Perfect. So, oh, last step. I wanted to use, this is the... Dim white, incandescent light, radiant light, ambient lighting palette. So it has three highlighters. And I just wanted to use this super bright one in the middle. This is like a final highlight under my brows. Finish with the Veil Soft Focus setting spray, which just really helps finish the whole look off. Take my hair down, fluff it up a little bit. That, my friends, is my evening look, my final look. So that's it. It was really like 15 minutes for me to take my day look into my night look. It's really easy to build off of like the foundation, the concealer, the brows. You've kind of already done all of those things. So it's just about enhancing all of those, you know, features and what you've already put on your face. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog um, and seeing my day to night makeup tips and also seeing kind of how I hide certain things like acne but also bring out certain features that I want to bring out. And I hope you guys are continuing to stay safe and healthy and I will see you guys next time.